Google's presentation about how they use AI in their products was really impressive. One of these products is Bart that is capable to provide a response based on a user's input, very similar to ChatGPT. At Plagiarism Check, our team is constantly testing texts generated by Bart in order to see how our AI detector recognizes that they were generated by AI. And we were very surprised when we found out some unexpected findings about how BART generates this text. Be careful, BART can generate text that can be considered as plagiarism, and I will show you why. I'm Garrett, head of product at plagiarismcheck.org, and my team helps to keep content original by checking text for similarity, authorship, and AI presence. During our tests, we found out that not only our AI detector can spot text generated by BART, but also our plagiarism checker finds similarities between texts generated by BART and existing content. Usually, large language models take separate words from various sources and combine them in meaningful sentences. These models do not take sentences from sources. They generate their own sentences based on their understanding of the context and available tokens or words from various sources they learned on. So it was very unexpected to see that sometimes BART generates sentences that are very close to being a paraphrased version of an original sentence that is stored somewhere in a source. We noticed that these matches of paraphrased or sometimes even exactly matching content, sometimes reaching up to 45% similarity of the whole text generated by BART. Of course, any similarity tool can provide you with a list of matches with various sources and they have to be checked carefully. Some sentences shouldn't be considered as plagiarism because they may sound very far from how they sound in original sources. Let's take a look at a few examples. I asked BART to write a 1000 word essay about the American dream based on The Great Gatsby. This is a text I received from BART. I checked it through plagiarismcheck.org and I received this similarity score. So you can compare that these texts are the same. Let's take a look at the sources that plagiarismcheck.org found for this text. For example, let's look for a source for this sentence that starts with the novel tells the story of Jake Gatsby and ends with Daisy. Here is a source and here is a sentence. It tells the story of Jake Gatsby and it ends with Daisy. So this is the same sentence. It has a slightly different wording, but the idea and the words order in this sentence is the same as we have in the text that was generated by Bart. This sentence, for example, it is a novel that is both beautiful and tragic and it ends with finished reading it. So the source is here. It is beautiful, tragic novel, and it ends with finished reading it. So this sentence is very close to what Bart generated. Some words are a little bit different. The words themselves and the order of these words is the same. Funny thing is that uh, this sentence is about totally different novel, never let me go, but this wording matches the wording that Bart came up with. Talking about the AI detector part, it analyzed this text for ChatGPT and other AI generators content and came up with a reply that it was most likely generated by AI. If you click here, we can see a detailed report that shows that 94% of these sentences are AI generated with different level of probability. So likely or highly likely they are AI generated. So the response is correct. It recognized this content was generated by AI. Let's see another example. I asked Bart to write a 1000 word essay on is being a freelancer a good alternative to being a full-time employee? This is the text that I received from Bart. I checked it through plagiarismcheck.org. Again, this is the same text and I received 36% similarity. Let's see the sources that plagiarism check found for this text. Let's find the sentence we want to check. For example, this one, potential for higher earnings, freelancers can earn more money than full-time employees. Higher earnings potential, freelancers can earn more money than salaried employees, especially if they secure high paying projects, if they are able to find high paying clients. So it is a paraphrased part of the sentence that we have in an original source. The idea is the same. The wording is slightly different. So it sounds like paraphrasing of an original source. Let's try and find another one. For example, this bigger part, if you're looking for more flexibility, control and freedom, then freelancing may be a good option for you. Let's check a source. If you value flexibility, control over your work and the ability to work from anywhere, then freelancing may be the right choice for you. Again, the idea is the same. The wording is a little bit different, so it looks like a paraphrased part. Let's find this one. However, if you're seeking stability and a support system, so here is a sentence. However, if you're looking for stability, 
benefits and strong social network, then full-time employment may be a better choice. How does it sound here? Then freelancing may be not the best option. Again, the idea of these sentences is the same. The wording is different. I can say that the wording from Bart is a little bit opposite from the wording that we have here. Again, we can say that the sentence that is provided by Bart is a paraphrased version of the sentence from an original source. Did our AI detector recognize that this text was AI generated? Yes. So we have replies that this text was AI generated. When we click here, we see that 90% of sentences are potentially AI generated from the whole text. Again, with likely and highly likely probability. So our AI detector recognized that this text was generated by AI. A few words about our AI detector. It has accuracy reaching 97% and extremely low false positive results. In total, we checked 35 texts generated by BART and the similarity percentage was between 5 and 45%. As we saw from these examples, there are sentences that can be considered as plagiarism despite they look like a paraphrased version of original sources. This can cause a lot of trouble to users not only because of using AI-generated text, which is prohibited to students, for example, but also because of possible accusations in plagiarism. Again, the matches should be checked carefully as we have just seen the cases where the similarity is obvious. If you check the matches in texts generated by BART, the real similarity score will be far below 45%. Many educational institutions do not accept papers that contain 10 or even 5% similarity, not even saying about papers that were generated by AI, which AI detector by plagiarism check catches accurately. Even if an educational institution does not have an AI detector to check if a paper was generated by AI, a student still can be in trouble because of possible accusation in plagiarism when submitting a paper generated by BART. If you or your organization want to be on the safe side with your content, check it for originality to eliminate cases of plagiarism and AI-generated text that can be harmful to one's reputation or brand. The link to plagiarismcheck.org, similarity checker, and AI detector is in the description to this video. You can sign up for an individual account or you can request an account for your organization or educational institution. If you liked this video, hit like button under it and subscribe to this channel to see more content about our recent findings and updates about catching plagiarism and AI-generated texts. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode.